Hey guys, it's your boy Harris and today I'm going to give you three amazing tips on how to make your b-roll amazing from slow motion footage. I wish I would have known this when actually I was starting to do b-roll and I was shooting in slow motion because you waste a lot of time if you don't know these three simple tips. So, let's get into it. Tip number one, modify your clips. The reason why you need to modify your clips is because it saves you so much time. So much time. So, grab your little MacBook or whatever you got and hop into Premiere Pro with me. Doesn't matter if you don't have Premiere Pro, this principle should apply. Let's get into it. So, we got our clip here ready and we're gonna go straight to this clip here. Boom nice clip of a car going through the bushes very nice yes okay we're gonna right click we're gonna go modify interpret footage and now the timeline we're working on is 23.976 so we're gonna type in we're gonna go to assume this frame right we're gonna go 23.976 okay and that is how you modify your footage. So no more having to drag into the timeline, have the footage expand and just mess up your workflow. Whether it's 120 frames per second, 30 frames per second, it is now at the right pace for your timeline, ready just to dump into the sequence and edit perfectly. Tip number two is choose the right bit. There's a thing called mise-en-scene. Mise-en-scene is super important because when you're sh conveying a story for a film or whatever video you want, everything is relevant. Everything you put on display has a meaning. And whether you, as an audience member, you kind of realize that and accept that or not, that's kind of the case here. So you need to be very, very meticulous and choose the right bit that you want to convey for your story. So let's say for this clip, for example, um, the one we just modified, we go here and I just want to have the bit where the car kind of just goes through the bushes. See here, the car going to bushes. We're going to press I for in and then we're going to find the bit where it just kind of stops and we're going to go O. Now, out of a clip which is quite long, we're only using like, yeah, just two seconds worth of footage as opposed to like 47, 46 seconds, that's... See what I mean? You, you really are sh shaving everything down just to the absolute necessity here, which is gonna give you a better footage. Now, how do we actually make this footage useful and actually combine it to convey the story we're trying to tell? This is something I like to call visually compounding clips together. This is not anything unique or exclusive. It's just a way that I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. I'm sure there's someone else out there who explains it much better and probably coined a way better phrase, but for the sake of this video and just for me to kind of get the information out quickly, we're gonna call it visually compounding the clips. How do we do that? We're gonna use speed ramping. So dive back in and we're gonna speed ramp this clip right here. Now we're just gonna quickly right click and we're gonna Unlink the audio. Boop, it's gone. And we're just gonna see right here. I want it to slow down here. So before we do that, we're gonna have right click, speed, get the pen tool, click here, and then as it goes past, I want it to speed up again. Can open up a bit more just to see. These little bits are meant to smooth out the footage. So what we'll see here is the increased percentage. I'm gonna increase it by, let's say, 400. And I'm gonna increase again here by four, around 400. There we go. Now if you play it, you can see that it kind of, it flows in and out really nicely. And when you're doing B-roll, you want things to flow together as if there was like a massive, GoPro that was flying and following you around and just taking the bits that you kind of imagined in your head. Um, a few examples of this can be, I'll show you right here. So one clip here. And you can see how it's all flowing together. And you have this clip right here. Let me just quickly edit this quickly. 
couple walking down and whoom. so let's say I wanted to add that together drag it here and we just play the clip again Now that could be a ti tiny bit better and tiny bit to kind of flow together. So let's make this flow together better, shall we? So how perhaps we should slow it down just a tad. We want to make sure people can see that there was a gradual shift. So 200 would be nice. And there we go. Play it back. And there you go, and that's how I link my clips together, and this is how I make my B-roll the way I do. And if you like what you see, guys, consider subscribing. I'm going to try and do more tutorials like this. It's currently really, really hot in England, and we don't have any AC. We have a fan, and if I turn the fan on, the audio is not going to work. It's going to be a bad production. Oh, oh sweaty, sweaty. The point is, let me know if you like this. I put it into three small tips. I could easily do a video on each tip, so let me know if you'd like me to go more over on modifying, how to select the best clips, or how to actually speed ramp. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye, guys.